Wrong Turn 6, The Last Resort. It's a 2014 horror film where I know some people are probably saying, wait a minute, they made a sixth Wrong Turn film? At least that was my reaction when I found out. The plot of this movie is that we meet this group of characters, one guy in particular who finds out that he inherited this resort, <laughs> this set of land. So him, his girlfriend, her family, they all go there to check this place out to see what it's worth. And the guy eventually realizes that he's related to a lot of these people. This group of family who I guess you can say in many ways are incestuous. <laughs> and not only that, they love to kill people. Now what I thought of Wrong Turn 6 is... What the fuck do you think I thought of this movie? <laughs> like seriously. It was a piece of shit. It was horrible. In fact, it's barely worth me getting angry about ranting and raving and wasting my time, really. Because if you look at the Wrong Turn series, I reviewed all of the movies, I don't know, less than a year ago. And with the exception of the first one, and hell, even the second one I didn't mind, the rest of them have all been shit. So for me to think that all of a sudden this sixth movie would come out of nowhere and turn the franchise around, or that we'd actually get a halfway decent horror film this year, then shame on me if that idea even came close to my mind. Let me talk about what's good in this movie, because honestly, there's only one good thing about this movie. Declan O'Brien did not direct it. And if anyone's wondering who that is, he directed Wrong Turn 3, Wrong Turn 4, and Wrong Turn 5. All of which are pieces of shit, and most of his movies are just, I don't know, maybe it just him and the combination of the Wrong Turn movies just don't mesh well together. But now that we got that out of the way, the bad. The bad is that this movie's insanely boring. I sat here for close to an hour thinking to myself, wow, nothing has happened in this movie. Nothing. And it's mostly because the characters are lame. You get this lead guy who he's finding out that he inherited this land and that he's related to these people. And then over time, he realizes that they're these inbred, hillbilly, psycho killers that eat people. And I was thinking to myself, why does this plot sound familiar? I feel like I've seen this movie very recently until I thought, oh yeah, that last Texas Chainsaw 3D movie that came out, it was the same exact plot. I admit, this guy does have to get brainwashed somehow, I don't know how they do it, but they brainwash him to join them. So okay, fine, at least they <laughs> gave a little bit of a better reason for why he joins them. But when you see his family and just how incestuous they are and how, I don't know if she's his cousin or sister or what, but she just desperately wants to fuck him. And what's more weird about that is that this chick is actually hot. So you find yourself saying, well, uh, would I if... Uh, I'd like to think not, but she was pretty hot and she was clearly horny as hell, but she's psychotic. Even his friends, his girlfriend, the characters that we're supposed to care about since he's easily being coerced, they're just lame. There's nothing to them. I can't even say that they're archetypes or cliche because at least cliche characters have characteristics. At least cliche characters, you can say, that's the funny one, that's the dumb one, that's the, the dick of the group. This doesn't even have any of that. They're just there just to get killed. And like I said, the first hour, I swear, none of these characters were getting killed. It was just them talking to each other and seeing the sights of the house and it just kept going on and on. And I got to the point where I was so bored, I desperately needed them to start getting killed. And I don't know if that was the point. I don't think it was the point because it's not like I liked the evil killers either. So you just sat there and you just really didn't give a shit about anything on screen. But I should mention the three main killers, right? Because out of all of these wrong turn films, you always saw the same sort of 
decrepit looking, mangled face, inbred killers. I think one name is Three Fingers, Little Thumbs, I don't know what the hell all of their names are to be honest, but it's been the same characters every time. And they're here just to be here, but they don't do a whole lot. You don't see them a whole lot, which is probably more so because the makeup looked terrible, they didn't really have anything for them to do, they don't talk, so there's really nothing to them. Where in the timeline does this movie take place? Ever since Wrong Turn 3, the rest have been prequels. So I, I don't really know, especially with the events and the mythology and the backstory that they've now built in to this series with this movie, it, it still just fucks everything up. And I know it's like, well, really, who cares about the timeline and how much this is supposed to make sense? I know, it's a dumb complaint, but I still had to list it. Fuck this movie. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, fuck Wrong Turn 6, The Last Resort. It sucks because my plan, my goal, was to make a top t 5, maybe 10 horror movies of the year. But at this point, I don't even think I have 2 or 3 horror movies that I like this year. That's how much this year has sucked for horror. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you plan on seeing Wrong Turn 6. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!